So we're going hiking again tomorrow. We're so excited. You know, it has been almost one year to the day since we first did our What's in Our Pack video. And boy, have we learned a lot in this past year because we've gone hiking several times and we have learned that we need a lot lighter stuff and we have done that. We switched out a lot of our gear and we want to show you what's in our bags now. Yeah, when, on our first hike we went to the Appalachian Trail and when we checked in at the scale house, my pack with food and water and everything weighed about 47 pounds and Cindy's weighed about 34. It was a miserable time because on the Appalachian Trail it's mostly straight up and straight down. So uh, we learned that the first thing we want to do in order to enjoy the hike is go a lot lighter. And that's what we've done. So y'all, now our packs weigh, without food and water, mine weighs 12 and a half pounds and Mike's only weighs 14 and a half pounds. And that is way lighter than we started out. So I want to show you what is in here now. Um, you know, we started out with these Gossamer Gear bags. They're the G4 brand. And they themselves only weigh, um, mine's 16 and a half ounces, Mike's is 17. Way lighter just to start off with just the bare bones pack. Um, they are just a sack with pouches on the outside, which is all you need. Um, and so what I have on the outside is my rain suit because I want to be able to get to that quickly. And y'all, these are the same rain suits we started out with last year. They are the Dry Ducks brand. And um, they're wonderful. They kept us dry. Even when we went on the trail in October, man, it was raining, hailing, snowing. And um, these kept us dry and yeah, also um, kept us a little bit warm as well. Um, just a plain old trash bag, empty trash bag. Now this is the odor-proof bear bag that we took last year. You guys, this works. Tell them how it worked when we went with all those guys last year on the trail. Well, a few times we took this and we really didn't know if it worked, but we it must have because we never saw a bear at night trying to get into our food. <laughs> but we always hang uh, these from a tree or from a bear hang. On the Appalachian Trail at the shelters, they usually have a bear hang there. And we were at, uh, on our last hike, we were with about 15 people at a shelter and we all hung our food on the bear hang. And uh, nobody got, uh, no bears came around, but the next morning the mice had climbed along the cables <laughs> on the bear hangs and got into everybody else's food, ours untouched. So at night we take all of our food, actually we carry all of our food in, in this bag, in our packs, so it doesn't get anything in our packs smelling like food, but we put our food in here, put it in this bag, hang it from the bear hang, no mice, no nothing messes with it, so I know it works now, and it was well worth the money that we spent on it. Yeah, good stuff. Um, the other thing I want to keep nice and handy close to me is my first aid kit. Basic stuff, band-aids, lots of moleskin, ibuprofen, things like that, antiseptic. Um, I like to carry this um, extra camera. We each carry a video ca uh, camera so we can have pictures of the trail. Um, I've lightened my little toilet paper pack, just um, hand sanitizer, little baby wipes in there. That's about all I keep on the outside. Um, I do have a whistle, a compass, and a um, flashlight hanging off of my shoulder strap here. And just to let you know, um, these are frameless packs. So we do keep our um, inflatable pads that we used to use in the tent. We still carry those. It kind of gives you a little bit of support on your back. And um, also we use this still um, in our hammocks, which we're about to show you. Yeah, we've become so. hammock people. We, no longer, <laughs> we don't like a tent. Some people prefer a tent. We prefer hammocks. So let's see what we have in here. Um, all right. One of the big things we changed out is we used to use the GSI Bugaboo Hiker. Um, cook set, um, utensil set, and this is small. We've gone to the GSI Duelist, which still has two cups, two bowls, two of everything, um, but it's smaller, more compact, and lighter, so it works works really, really well. Um, just really quickly, I'm not going to go into everything on this, but um, 
It still has a little carrying case. Um, Doubles as a, a little wash sink too. Little, if you little wash basin. And you know you have your lid. You have. I'm just going to kind of dump this all out. Lid with strainer if you like pasta or noodles and things like that. Um, this is a very good size pot. It's scratch resistant. Um, heats really well. Um, bowl and a cup. And another bowl and a cup. And some lid for lids that. if you want lids for your cups. A couple spoons. Now, we have gone with the uh, pocket rocket this year. And this is the large size fuel container that fits very nicely inside the Duelist. As you can see, it was already in there. And this little pouch, this little handy pouch, came with the Duelist. And now we just keep a lighter in there, an extra uh, magnesium fire starter. So that compacts very, very well. Um, I still like to carry my uh, water bladder. This is a two liter water bladder. And then I also carry an extra bottle of water on the outside of my pack. Um, let's see, this is our little personal bag. Um, we haven't changed this out too much. Um, it's all very light stuff. Pretty much the same as last year. Um, a couple of the drying towels for after you take your camp shower. Uh, bandana. <laughs> I still carry my par paracord for um, my clothesline. So in the, at night when you're changing your clothes and you have all this wet, dirty stuff, you can just hang it on the clothesline. Camp soap is the greatest stuff. It washes all your dishes and everything you need to wash. Um, we just carry body powder. Now inside here is our homemade under quilt. We each have one and this is going to go underneath our hammock because you know you'd be surprised even in the summertime when it's hot outside. If you lay in a hammock with nothing underneath of it, it's actually very cool and actually quite chilly. So it's it's really strange. It's really a strange thing. So, so anyways, we made these and I'm very yeah. excited that we get to use them on this trip and we're going to do a review and also show you how we made them if they work out. Okay? <laughs> What else do we have here? Um, this is just um, one set of extra clothes for myself. Yes, I don't carry a lot of clothes at all out there. It's just really extra weight that you don't need. Um, <laughs> what do I have in here? Okay. Since we are hammock folk now, this is my ENO dry fly tarp. It goes over my hammock, keeps the rain off of me. And these are the slap straps that, that hang from the trees to hang my hammock on. Where is my hammock here? Uh, yes, my E&O hammock. And this is my um, same original um, sleeping bag. It's very lightweight, it's pretty small. So even though I'm sleeping in a hammock, if you don't know anything about hammocks, you still need to sleep in a sleeping bag on the hammock. That's it. So I pretty much got a lot of the same things in my pack um, with just a few differences. You know, I got my flashlight here. Um, I've got my little garbage bag. I also, I carry this tarp. Uh, we like to, when we take a break, sit down for lunch or whatever, we spread this tarp out. We have some place clean and dry to sit. Um, got my bandanas. I've got the pocket rocket here. This is what's gonna uh, we're gonna use to cook with. Um, really neat little setup there. I'm carrying a Mora Triflex. Very nice knife. Thanks Bruce. Appreciate it. And of course I've got some paracord too. Uh, in case we gotta hang a bear bag if we stay somewhere where they don't have a bear hang. Need at least uh, you know 50 feet of that. That's all I have on the outside. I too have my inflatable mattress, self-inflating mattress as a back support and also to sleep on in my hammock. And let's see what we got on the inside. We'll drag all this stuff out. A collapsible two and a half gallon water container. Great to have around the camp. Um, this is my clothes bag. I've got my clothes uh, and my rain suit in here. This is our water filter. It is a Katadin uh, Vario. Vario. 
It works well. We've had it uh, since we first started hiking, and it's done a tremendous job. I recommend it to everybody. What else we got here? I have my homemade under quilt. Same thing as Cindy has. And this is my slap straps, and I also have all the little uh, aluminum tent stakes for the dry fly tarps. And you got to kind of stake those out to keep that thing over you. This is my dry fly tarp. My hammock. I love how these things just compress down into that. I mean, it's amazing. It's all one little system. Really cool. And I have my sleeping bag. I think it's a 45 degree, just like Cindy's. Wow, that's it. Super, super simple. So a lot of the things we have switched out. You know, we started off with a tent, the big bugaboo. Uh, you know, we carried a lot of stuff that was heavier. So now we have really lightened the load and switched a lot of things out. And um, that's it. I mean, starting out with 12 and a half and 14 and a half pounds without food and water, that is an amazingly low weight. Yeah, you can get way, way, way lower, but for the uh, amount we've spent and the things we've switched out, I think we've done pretty good. We have done really well, and uh, you know, we're just gonna, all we gotta load up now with is some food and water, and uh, we're set. We're gonna have a good time. We're gonna be more comfortable on the hike. We're gonna enjoy it more. The whole thing about hiking, y'all, is making sure that you have the lightest gear as possible. Because when we went on our first hike and we our packs were so heavy, we really felt like pack mules. We were just, we were in pain and we really couldn't enjoy the trail. So we are going to really enjoy the trail more and enjoy ourselves. So we're really happy this time. We're going to be Yeah, and actually, day. you know, we did this. We went light uh, in October. Um, we only made a few changes since October, and we really enjoyed ourselves a lot more last yeah, on the last trip because it was so much lighter and uh, you know, we were able to get further down the trail and just just enjoy the scenery and take it all yeah. in. So we'll see you guys when we get back and um, we appreciate you watching. See you soon. Bye.